Okay, we're the all important part of the song, the chorus harmony or the chords for our chorus. Now we've got a section for the intro or two options and a verse and they're both starting with the chord of C. So I want my chorus to not start with the same chord. I'd like it to transition somewhere else or start somewhere else. And obviously we've got lots of options. We could go to the four chord, the F. We could go to the D minor, the two. And, you know, of course, I could explore all of those options, but this course would get awfully long if we explored all the options. So I've made a choice. And the reason I've made the choice is we've got major chord on the intro and the verse. I thought it'd be kind of cool, given my subject matter that we'll get to in a bit, that, that it starts with a minor chord. So it's going to start the feel of it in a different way, all right, and the structure of my chords. So what I did was I thought, okay, if I start with the A minor, which I really like, I could actually walk down to it from my C. Much as I have been in my verses, remember we've been going down to that B note on the G and, you know, when we were playing in the verses and the intros. So now this just walks us down to that minor chord. So there's the start of my chorus, okay? So I'm gonna play you the ideas and then I'll break it down for you so you get a full picture of how this works. I'm gonna play it without the groove first and then I'll play it with the groove and give you some ideas as to why that worked and then we'll hear it going into the chorus from our verse, okay? So here's what I've got so far walking down to the start of my chorus. Then it would go back into my one of my intro sections, okay? I'm sure we can hear the C there. So that's what I've got. I know that's a lot of information to throw at you right now. But when you hear it with the lyric, you'll understand why I wrote the harmony. Now your harmony is obviously a cluster of notes that supports the melody, all right? So at the beginning of the course, we looked at the chords and how the major scale worked over that. Now what we're doing is we're creating the chord structures that our melody will sit on. And those chords will support the melody. All right? So I've written the chords to support my melodic structure. Now, of course, we have millions of options. And, um, you know, it could have gone any different way. But I think it's really nice going from the A minor and having a different chord at the beginning of my section. Okay. Now, chorus sections... You saw me playing open. So the dynamics have come up, haven't they? But I bring them down here. The reason I brought them down there was because the lyrical content felt like it needed that dynamic. And again, when we hear all this come together, you'll go, oh yeah, I understand now why you would do that. So if you're wondering why I'm doing certain things, that's why I'm listening to what my story, my lyric and my melody are needing from me as a harmonic player, chordal player, which is what we're working on. Okay, so we've got a chorus section now. Why don't we hear the end of the verse going into the chorus, all right? And what we can do then is once we've got our chorus section solid, we'll hear the chorus going into one of our intros. So let's just hear the end of our verse, all right, going into our chorus so you get the feel for that. So here's one time round that verse.
So we hear it goes nicely from the verse into that chorus. So now let's play the chorus with the groove, all right? So you can hear that and the dynamics with the groove. And then what I think I'll do is as the track's playing and I've finished my chorus, I'm gonna go into one of the verse, uh, one of my intro sections to see how it feels and then we'll try the option, okay? And then we can make a decision at some point. Okay, so let's play over the groove going in from my verse. Okay, so you heard the chorus, how it feels, the dynamic of it, and then going into one of our choices, right? One of our options for the intro. So now let me play the chorus again. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into our second option. So you hear the transitions and see if you like one or the other better. All right, so let's do the same thing that we just did with our second intro option. Okay, so we've heard the chorus twice now. We've heard it coming in from the verse into the chorus, and we've heard our two options. And as you can hear now, we've got a nice variation from section to section that's gonna support our melody and our lyric, okay? And I spent a, a great bit of time on this to make sure they were supporting those elements as well so I could actually show that to you guys. All right, so we'll see all this come together stronger as we work on the course, work through the course. So what we're gonna do now, we've got two sections, three sections of our song, all right, and an option, plus we've gotta work on a bridge now. So we're gonna take a look at the bridge option in this next section. <laughs> 